Well, it's fantastic to see you here today, to Clark, at Rewind. Yeah. We saw you a few years back, yeah. uh, a few times, a couple of times yeah. actually you played here. When you first approached this particular Rewind, it's, it's quite awe-inspiring. I mean, my son had not been here to this particular one before and kind of went, wow, you know, as you approach yeah. the top of a hill. Yeah, yeah. Um, but all these kinds of festivals, I think the 80s crowd are very, very good natured. And um, they make all the artists feel good about themselves. Yeah. And, and you know what, that is, that's invaluable. As much as I know the emphasis tends to be on how, what do you cause in the audience, actually the audience uh, does great things for us. Yeah. It's a very positive and environment. Definitely. And uh, can I say, oh, during lockdown, you did your journey songs online um, yes. on Facebook. Yes. And uh, they were a real sort of tonic during those difficult times. Thank you. And to find out anecdotes about all your back history of your songs was uh, really incredible. And uh, you really built a rapport up uh, with the fans that joined you, didn't you, uh, did. during those weeks? I did. And it actually, it, it kind of snowballed from there. We, we went on tour with Level 42 at the end of last year, yes. so we, I had to stop it or else I would have carried on. But yeah. I've restarted it again now. And, um, and the... the, the the fans who have kind of gathered around Journey Songs, it being a, a live stream, yeah. have stayed with it. Yeah, and, it yeah. and what amazes me is that because when I'm doing it, on my screen I see different comments from different people who are watching. Yeah. And you see where they're from, or sometimes I ask where they're from. And people are, it's, it's getting even more international now. I mean, there's yeah. some of the places I had not heard of before, to be honest. Brazil and all over the world. Incredible. So it's... Uh, yeah, it's very uh, yeah, it's wonderful. Journey songs is a is a is something that's going to become bigger, I think, over time. Yeah, definitely. And uh, you did announce last week that you are bringing out a new single, so that's, that's on really my own. Exciting. Yeah, it's a it's a charity record. Right. For a um, for a charity in Poland called Poland Welcomes. Right. And they've given sanctuary to Ukrainian women and children who are fleeing the conflict over there, and they're doing an incredible job but they need help. So uh, a mutual friend suggested uh, a version of Shattered Dreams because that's what they're going through. I would never have thought of that. I wouldn't have done it. It would be more appropriate. Could yeah. It so I actually had a version of Shattered Dreams that I'd done a while ago that I was going to be on the next Journey Songs album, which is called Journey Songs 2. And I thought, well, rather than put it on there, I'll give it to the charity. And so that's, you know, I've done a little video for it. It's it's going to be, I just hope it does well for them. That's yes, the main yeah, thing. Yeah, definitely. And when's that being released, Clark? It'll come out next month. Fantastic. So yeah. we look forward to that. Great. You released an album, didn't you, last year? Journey um, Songs 1. Yeah. Yes, that's it. And that was really well received as well. It was. It was. So yeah, Journey Songs 1 was kind of a collection of all the stuff I'd recorded in the early 90s, having left Johnny Hates Jazz the first yeah. time. Yeah. So it sounds very Johnny Hates Jazz-esque. Yeah, um, yeah. But the, the new Journey Songs album, Journey Songs 2, is very much end of the 90s, into the 2000s. I've grown, I've evolved, and I think people are going to enjoy it. I really do. And Wide Awake was very, you know, I really enjoyed that. Oh, cool. Uh, that was so, so good. Um, Me and Mike enjoyed making it. Oh, yeah. it's a fantastic album. Right. And uh, I loved my old piano, and there's, there's some really good, good songs, memorable songs on there as well. It was an interesting one, that album, Wide Awake, because that was, you know, we actually uh, collaborated with a guy called Phil Thornalley, oh, yes, who yes. took over from me when I left Johnny yes, Hates Jazz, course, but yeah. which probably would sound a bit odd, but I'd known Phil for donkey's years before right. then. He was Mike's, in Johnny Hates Jazz, Mike's best friend as a kid. Right. So it was it was almost quite fa family-like family. between the yes. three of us, and we, yeah. had, we had real fun doing it, oh, and, and it worked so well. Yeah, so yeah, definitely. it was a good experience. And you've worked with some greats as well, haven't you? Mike Rutherford from Genesis. Yes, and, uh, I saw Mike uh, after one of the O2 gigs of the yeah. last Genesis tour, and uh, and um, he's a lovely fella. And yeah. I, I don't, I, I imagine if they do more mechanic stuff, 
I'll probably get a phone call, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I've loved the stuff I've done with them. And, and working with Andrew Roach as well. Yeah. Andrew's a lovely fella too. And Peter Gabriel in the 90s as well. You yeah, I was. Uh, I didn't work with Peter, but I, I knew him quite well. I was based at his studios, his studios. Real World, yeah. So right. a lot of the material on Journey Songs too. sorry, I don't mean to plug it, but um, was recorded there. And, you know, and I would often cross paths with Peter and he'd always have a bit like Mike Rutherford a really a, a very sunny disposition a lovely thing to say that just gave you a bit of encouragement yeah definitely so, so good really people. positive people yeah. and so you saw Genesis that must have been quite uh, an emotional oh, concert oh I cried we were we, did you we, cry we, as well we were there yeah we oh. were, it really brought us to tears do you know because when they did Phil, uh, Phil Collins you know seated wasn't he it was heavy, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it was heavy, I mean, yeah. he sounded great. Oh, yes. I have yeah, to say, yeah. though, I mean, I'm going to sound a bit biased here, but when Mike came on, my brother came on, he looked so youthful. Yes. You yes, know, he yes. was just so... They yes. were great, but when they did... Um, um, throwing it all away yeah. and the spines of the albums came up and then all the footage of Gabriel and Steve Hackett I teared up because I just and I turned to my wife Louise and said we're witnessing the end of an era it was the end of an era and it was really heavy it was heavy. very moving yeah. indeed yeah definitely yeah. Oh, well, it's uh, so great to catch up with you, yeah, Clark. Yeah, good to see and, uh, you both, too. I'm looking forward to seeing some more Journey songs. Great, yes, come along yeah. every Sunday. Well, actually, every other Sunday, isn't it? Yes, I used to do it, it every Sunday, every and other Sunday. And your little Dudley fox on the... On I've the <laughs> I'm surrounded by foxes. <laughs> I'm a fox maniac, actually. I noticed so. that, because yes. you mentioned the fox family that lives Yes, there. I do, I love them. Uh, we look really, really look forward to it, Clark. And, great. And uh, lovely to chat to you, as yeah, always. Yeah, nice to see you again.